Back at it. Deck never sleeps. Apparently not. I would, I would like some sleep. Under the traffic lights. We're here for the winter tourney, December 1st through the 3rd in beautiful Bettendorf, Iowa. Along with my co-host, who's back actually on camera, Courtney McDermott. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. No kiss tonight because this is kind of impromptu. So sorry. You have to Whoever's deal with us. Whoever's requesting these, what's wrong with you? There wasn't many. <laughs> <laughs> but we uh, we do have a sponsor tonight. Really? Yes, we do. Interesting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> interesting as how why. Does I someone want to sponsor paycheck. this? <laughs> You'll see one. It's in the mail. Right. <laughs> Anyways, our sponsor is... This is BB Designs. Uh, any of you that know Sean Bain? Yes. Uh, they got a little something cooking there. Check out their uh, Facebook page, BB Designs. Design, print, ship on demand. Ooh. I know you're kind of looking through their catalog a little bit earlier. There's some really cool stuff there. Uh, that's what I like about the clothing company that... You know, print on demand you know we dealt with a, a certain person that made our shirts for tourney a couple years ago mm -hmm. i don't know if you remember him and i pretty much had to sweat it till the last day and then they did not turn out the way i thought you have to remind me later brian worden Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brian Morgan fucked me that over. That was that was yeah, bad. Yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. Sean wouldn't do this to you. No. No. Yeah. Uh, it, so I, Sean owns this business. I, yeah, I think he's got it cooking with uh with his family there. So yeah. Nice. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah, BB Designs. Here's check this out. Am I doing this right? You're not even close. You gotta go like way well, up there. Tight in you, of course. You know. Down. Down. You know. All right. You know, George Kittle, every time he's on Sunday Night Football, tight in you. You know, that'd be yeah. something for the fam for the big ball game or the big champ, Big Ten championship game. How about a Yeti's pet bandana? Oh, <gasps> that'd be so that, cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Or maybe for your own uh, team. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Jazzy needs one. And then how about for those Viking fans, like Sanquist, Pastronaut. A little closer. A little closer. There you, you know, go. you know the old pastor not right? Pastor, the quarterback. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was. I think someone replied to him the other day that Sanquist called him Neil Armstrong. <laughs> 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 Talking about Josh Dobbs. So that's just a few of the things that got on there, and the, of course you, you could design your own and ship. And there's no minimum. Really. And I'm going to check that out. Fifty dollars or more. Right at checkout, 10% off. So just in time for your Christmas needs, man. So hit them up. You know, there's uh, we did big things for Wild Crew Clothing, right? We, we took did. that, we took that we to did. the fucking moon. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go we are take responsible credit. for their, their right because they do they do clothing for babies and midgets and such. They're you know? like they're they're going into women's clothing now too a little bit. Are they really? Yep, a little well, bit. Well, good for them. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for sponsoring us tonight. Yeah, uh, BB Designs, check them out. Maybe a free pet bandana. I'll take that. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, so, anyways, as far as the tournament, like, what do you think of the winter tourney? Where would it rank on your, like, list of things for the season? Like, pretty far down at the bottom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because okay. you sign up somewhere ahead of time. You don't know if it's going to be 10 below zero and snowstorming that weekend. And then you're screwed because A, you either paid money and now it's gone. Or you're going to have to play in like three inches of snow. Unless you're lucky like this year where it's going to be like, what, 30s? I think 30s. They are talking possible rain or snow mix uh, a little bit Friday, maybe a little bit Sunday morning. But uh, it definitely better compared to last weekend. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I guess I was more talking like... The hierarchy, it feels like it's more like a redheaded stepchild kind of. Because obviously mm. you got the summer tourney, that's the biggest one, right? That's yes, by far. Yeah, yeah, that's like seeing a nice set of titties at the 10. Everybody wants to do it, be there. Everybody wants, you know, the employees want to work it. Then I would say 
If Waterloo was around, that would still be number two. Yeah, that was fun. Can we do Glencoe? That would be an awesome trip. Glencoe 2024. If Pat Nick. Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like cool. to take my talents to Chicago. But are you still going to be competing against the, the caliber that the winter Chicago tournament is? Sure. Some of those guys are coming right down here we'll talk about today. Okay. But it's a little different because it's a you know, three-on-three game. It's different. That's true. It's smaller deck. So, yeah. Um, I feel like, yeah, it would go summer tourney, Waterloo, playoffs, <laughs> a, a regular season game in like early June that's just nice out because they're eating all there's like four days of the year that's a nice out, you yeah. know, between when it's 20 degrees and then shoots like 80. Yeah. And then, and then fifth. Flip flops or your snow coat. Yeah. Winter coat. And then fifth would be a uh, winter tourney. <laughs> it, it kind of feels like. Like you won a cup this year, so that's a great way to end the year from what I understand. It's fantastic. Like my year ended with other people celebrating the cup while I sat and stared at them. Like your wife? Yeah, but you didn't beat me. I'm talking about the people oh, that beat me. Oh, okay. And that's sad. So I do feel like winter is kind of like a last salvage to the year. Like it makes it feel good going into 2024. Or it could further break my heart. Because once you get it down could. there, it's still competitive. Yeah. And then you, you know, your juices start flowing. Right now they're not flowing at all. But they're going to be. So. They're sure not. They're sure not. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we got big money on the line as usual. They're just handing out cash. Really? Not to the scorekeepers or us, very much. <laughs> but <laughs> um, D1, 1K plus hats. Remember, there's six players to a team. You got oh, five forwards and a goalie. You got a amount of money. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, a little spending money for Christmas. Yeah. A little something to play for, besides the old pride. Plus a hat. I need a new hat. Mine's already starting to fade. That's D1, though. D3 is $800 plus hats. Okay. Then D5 is $600 plus hats. Something about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred hundy. Yeah. I'll take a hundy. Not bad. Yeah. Spread it around the community. <laughs> so. Um, I guess before we get into that... A lot of NHL news I'd like to get up to in the league before we get into D1. It's been a busy day. I guess Corey Perry boned Connor Bedard's mom, so that's interesting. Very. I thought it was a joke at first when I read it, and then I saw, like, the team was taking action. Not a joke. That's how you put a rookie in line, though, I guess, huh? Say, hey, the old veterans around here and... You know, he can always do, that's what your mom said, jokes for, like, the rest of their career together. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> or a, that's what she said. Yeah. Definitely an interesting situation there. So. Yeah. Um, the Wild, your, our sons. Yes. The, fired their head coach, Dean Evanson, that alcoholic. Yeah. He looks like an alcoholic. He has to be he an does. alcoholic. Yeah. I'd be an alcoholic if I was coaching the Wild. But he's gone. It's probably a good thing. So, yeah. And then did you know the Detroit Red Wings picked up a free agent here? I did not know that. Have you heard of Patrick Kane? Yeah. Did they signed Patrick Aww. Kane again. He's supposed to be playing. So, kudos to the Red Wings organization and all their fans for picking up Patrick Kane. So. I'm just sad he's not a Blackhawk anymore. Things change, man. They do. A few years ago, you are winning cups. Taves and Kane and Sharpie and Seabrook. Things are good. A few years later, you got a douchebag boning Connor Bedard's mom, and you're not doing well. It's amazing how things change. It is. Was there some stuff going on like that in the office, too, like a couple of years ago? Well, they had a sexual harassment case because the... Uh, yeah. The one forward sued, Kyle Beach sued because they basically didn't disclose any of this, essentially. 
and try to keep it in house, which is always bad when you keep try to keep things in the house. Eventually yeah. they become out of the house mm -hmm. or into the bedroom if you're Corey Perry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so are you ready to get into DIY? We got yes. I also got some storm topics I want to bring up because we can't forget our own Quad City Storm hockey team, <laughs> professional hockey team. But we can bring that up later. It's like a lead in to uh, D1 and D3. They can all. stick around throughout the rest of the video. The, yeah, so that's right. Hear the that's right. Yeah. yeah. I know if all my storm followers. Stay tuned. <laughs> That'd be Trent and Selena. <laughs> Not many. <laughs> so there's six teams. Holy shit. In D1, Chicago Snipers. Love me some Gabe Herrera. He's the captain. That those Barreras break the energy. Mm -hmm. Those I remember they basically lost their voice at the end of the tourney last year because they're coaching so many teams. So <laughs> I think I remember that. Do you want to go read their lineup? Sure. There's He's six teams, down. did I say in D1? Yes. Okay. All right, Gabe Barrera. Uh -huh. Jacob Barrera. Danny Roeder. Steven Spaziri. Colin Lasseter. And then goal Nick Lewanski pretty young uh, squad and they'll bring the energy i'm glad to see them mm -hmm. yeah barrera's rock i love that these guys come down and play with us and they got the things cooking up there too so mm -hmm. cool okay now you push the back button and then you go to the second team gotcha <laughs> coffee hound oh coffee hound okay <laughs> <laughs> i haven't had coffee hound in years <laughs> I mean, in years. So <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, she for loves coffee a hound, hound. Yes. we have Devin Preto. Oh, yeah. Patrick Levesque. Oh, Mr. Hound himself. <laughs> Mike Womack. Oh. Our uh, Darren McMillan. Oh. Bobby Cassatt. Yeah. Is he a dad yet? I do not know. Hmm. Let us know. And Marty Filion and Gould. Solid, solid, solid lineup. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I hope those guys don't have to do those coffee on commercials. Pat forces the other guys to do during <laughs> like summer turning. Like yeah. here, like pretend you like this drink. So I keep getting I, the money. I did have it at summer tournament. No, where did I have it? I mean, I did have a free one. They brought one time. I bought one. It was okay. Better than you. You bought one. Uh, Remember? Okay. Well, that's fine. Anyways. Yeah. When they had the tent at that. And Coffee Hound, I believe, did win last year in D1, so. Like, just a couple months ago? No, the last year's winter attorney. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So maybe they'll do it again. Maybe so. Or maybe Will Mac can make a lot of penalties. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Springfield Pucks Deep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pucks Deep. Try the deep. Jack Healy, mm. Ryan Colas, Thomas Colas, Tyler Schurz, Schurz, Brandon Hay, and Zach Ballastrieri. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I know I've said all these names Yeah, Zach's not a counter. I actually don't think he's uh, Springfield. It might be uh, Pittsburgh or Chicago. can't remember which, but he's solid. Uh, Springfield, Astra killed it in the winter tourney. It seems like for some reason they kind of skip our summer tourney, but then they bring, like, everybody to the winter tourney. That's weird. Kind of, yeah, but I Should know they did very well. I remember seeing them in the D5 final. They bring quite a few teams and a lot of talent. Healy and Colas are some very solid. Hmm. Yeah. Um. So this next, that's going to be a good team. Mm -hmm. Next we have the Scrum Lords. Oh, uh, okay. Remember, they made their debut at uh, summer tourney, and they played their asses off. They were grinding. Led by the scrum lord himself, mm -hmm. <laughs> Scott Dalby. Yeah. Looks to punch. <laughs> um, on his team, he has Alex Hudson. Okay, that's his little camp buddy. Uh, what oh, do you yeah. 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 What do you think of that camp so far? What are you, what are you seeing on the streets? I haven't really heard anything about it, but I want to go because I want to get I want to get better. Well, I've talked to a couple of people who on the camp. Mm -hmm. They hate it. But that's a good what? thing. They hate, because they don't you're doing drills that you hate to do, but you know it's making you better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've seen pictures where that group's grown and grown and grown each week. Obviously, I'm telling you right now, I, I gotta get into this and do this. Really? Because I don't think scrimmaging scrimmaging during the winter is great and all right, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's doing anything to improve my overall game. Right. I think these guys will improve 
the weak points of my game, which there's plenty. You are old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not, yeah, let me see what these guys can do for me. So I am going to hit it up. I believe, I, I want to say someone told me it's like $25 maybe each session. Why not? Why wouldn't you have it? Alex Hudson's played like professional ice hockey, like in yeah, good leagues. Yeah, he's good. And I've said enough words about Scott Dalby. You know what though? I've always thought about starting my own camp. Oh Lord! To get ranked down, <laughs> like the opposite of what they're doing. You want to know how to suck and get ranked down? Play with your homies. Come to Mark's camp. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, you could do that. The opposite of what they're doing. I can even do it like the same night they're doing. They're like, would you just like serve donuts? Serve, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give them some slippers. Yes. <laughs> Show my weak ass shot here. Here's how you top the fucking ball. <laughs> yes, everything. It would be excellent. Just a thought. Anyways. Yeah, leave it at that. Um, <laughs> Stone Patton. Oh, oh, so he's gone. gone. Yeah. Ryan Plum. Oh. Cole Griffin. Okay. Scott and Aaron Ingram and goal. Aaron Ingram's like fucking Gumby on goal. Do yeah. they, he, no, yeah, no. The stuff he does makes me cringe, but holy fuck, he's a hell of a goalie. Hmm. That team will do well. Cole Griffin, man, I've been watching the last year or two a little more now that he's worked there. That boy can move the ball. I want to say puck, but he can move the ball like crazy. Cool. Yeah, he's up and down, up and down. So that's good. Yeah. Next we have Domino's. Oh, Domino's. When's the last time you had Domino's? Supervisor. <laughs> Matthew. Matthew Levick. He doesn't even say Levick. Just says uh, Matthew. Oh, God. <laughs> they went big D on us. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. For Domino's, we have A.J. Wells. Okay. Andrew Kramer. Oh. Cole Latusic. Okay. Blake Wareham. Perry Jacobs. Oh, uh, yeah. And Matthew Levesque in goal. Uh, that, that might be my team to click right now. Love me some Kramer. Oof, boy. That's a good one. Yeah. Wells has been playing phenomenal. And he did a lot of it shorthanded on his D3 plus team. He basically carried it by himself with uh when uh Fredericks went down. Mm -hmm. So that's a hell of a lineup there. I like that lineup. What if Domino's and Coffee Island like moved into the same building together? What do you think of that? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just think what Pat would do? He'd probably have a big old Woody if that happened, wouldn't he? Probably. <sighs> Coffee on oh, Domino's the same place. <laughs> just think. Oh Lord. Yes. I'm just bitter because no one wants to sponsor <laughs> me except for BB Designs. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Is All that right. oh we got, we got one, one more? more? The Glencoe Bazookas. Bazookas. We've got John Scully. Yeah. Tom Scully. Hell yeah. Kyle Schott. Sam Nelson. And nobody else. I wonder if Sam's going to be in goal then. He might be. He's good enough to do it either, but I'm just going to yeah. assume Sam's in goal. Uh, obviously, every time they're here, they play solid. Everybody knows the Scullies. They Are they there. really just going to play with four? I'm sure they got one more. Hey, go and call if you need the body. Don't call me. <laughs> call someone good. I'll get you someone good. <laughs> All right. So, D1, yeah, six teams. Solid. I mean, that'd be fun to watch. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, what are you doing? I don't know. Get into D3. Holy fuck, this is, you don't understand the NDA website. It's more complex. I don't use it enough. Only during summer. <laughs> All right, D3, there's 10 teams. You ready to ring right through them? Yes. The Southside Stingrays. Of course, captained by Bill Whittle. Little. Little. Here you go. Oh, Back you. at you. Aiden Witt. Heard of him? Bill Little. Ryan, my, my, yeah. Mil, 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 Mil Sorry. Rob Should Marciano, be. Landon Slowacki, and Joe Dare in goal. Damn good lineup. Mm -hmm. Joe always seems to play with the Chicago boys on at least one team in the tourneys. And yeah. Aiden Wynn, hopefully he got a haircut or something. He's got a lot of cabbage going on last I saw him here. But. A lot of cabbage? 
Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know how the goddamn helmet fits. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, OG Friss. Oh, hey, 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 hey. OG, OG Friss. What's that mean? The OG's finally free? Free as in cold? I don't know. Probably French. I'll sue. What's that? <laughs> Anyways, we got Danny Roeder. Okay. Cooper Hardy. Brayden Jordan. Devin Monner. Austin Rohde. And Nick D'Ambrogio. Okay. Oh, Danny was on the uh, that D1 team we talked about. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Cool. Another one I've ever. Yeah. Good luck to him. I'm not sure we're still going here. I sure as hell hope so. We are. Yes. Yeah, okay. God We're good. Damn. Holy fuck. <laughs> um, the Hornets. Chicago. Mark Ferenga. Nick Mustis. Uh -huh. Tim the Sitar. Moose. Brian Piznarski. I remember that name. Um, and then goalie, it shows Nate Whalen and Wade Bittner. Uh, I think it's going to be Wade Bittner. My guess is Whalen might be the... Um... E bug, but I could be wrong. Nate's good, obviously way good enough to do D three too. I'm just, no, I'm just guessing. Uh, these are like the old Galactic Dolphin guys we used to play back in the day. Mm -hmm. Ferenga and Moose will tear that shit up all day. <laughs> uh, we got another pucks deep. Hell yeah. Hmm. Balls deep, pucks deep. Jared Veely, mm -hmm. Veal, Veely, R.J. Wood, Sean Dunbar. Nick Piznarski, Will Truman, Ryan Colas in goal. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. We are whipping through these. Edward Jones. Would you go to Casper's for financial advice? That's what he does, right? Because he's got a big picture, right, on the rink. Well, Edward Jones is like an investing company. Yeah, I'm just asking, would you go to Casper's personally? I don't really know him well enough, but he always seems angry, so. Okay. Well, somebody's going to be cheerful with me, Lenny. Well, if they saw my bank account, they wouldn't be cheerful <laughs> about it. <laughs> That's true. I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, we've got PJ Collins, Danny Barnes, Kyle Mock, Chris Caspers, Matt Ressler, and Brandon Evans. A lot of the usual cast of characters there with the Edward Jones uh, franchise. Wrestler's mm -hmm. a long timer, and Kyle Mox has been playing the best hockey of his life, I believe. Uh, I can say this because he can't hear me. Matt Wrestler got really gray really fast. Yeah, Wrestler did. I love the gray. guy. Yeah. He's super. What nice. if he was coloring it before? That could be. I didn't think about that. Huh? How did we sign language gray? To <laughs> he hasn't lost a step of hockey wise, I know that. No. <laughs> that dude's a skin whooping that ass out there. <laughs> oh, he is good. PJ's gonna be killing him, do you think? Yeah. Um, we've got Yeti's next. Oh. Austin Hoots. Oh, okay. TJ Finch. Devin Albee. Zach McElwright. Wyatt Price. And Matt Butner. A lot of familiar names. They uh, won the D3 Summer Tourney as a Yetis. Was that the same people? Uh, a couple of them. Obviously, mm -hmm. you got expanded roster in Summer Tourney. True, yeah. Uh, Hoots is a big-time goal scorer. That's a great pickup. Mm -hmm. Obviously, everybody knows about TJ Finch. Yeah. Um, I guess the big question is their uh, wrestling made because last year at the... I was just gonna say, Chef, are you gonna be there for all the games? Chef took off, yeah. and I don't know. I love me, I love me a little Chevy Albee, but if you take off on the team for a wrestling thirty, I might be a little upset. I mean, Especially. he does coach. He went to an Iowa wrestling. Oh, league. an Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Chef. Uh, we'll stick around all weekend, son. Oh boy. Okay, next. <laughs> oh. oh. Repeat. Springfield Decky Blinders. Oh. It's okay. like Peaky Blinders. Okay. I don't know what that means. It's a movie, isn't it? I don't know. We're boomers. What the hell do we know? Nothing. <laughs> We've got Silas Butler, Jaden Branner, Jake Vance, Brandon Stewart, Will Tracy, and Austin Sims and Goal. Okay. Springfield for as many. 
or as few teams they got. And mm -hmm. I assume their league's still up and running up there. But like the down there. or down there, yeah, it would be down there. <laughs> the, like the quality's unreal. Like they were like Waterloo back when Waterloo had deck told they told us to pack up our shit and leave. Like the quality is amazing. That's good. Mm -hmm. It really is. We got the Allegheny Warriors. Where the fuck's Allegheny? Allegheny Road. Is that Pets? Is that Pittsburgh? No, it's like a. Oh, this is like a movie reference. No. I don't know. Okay, moving Anyways, on. We have Matt Larkin, Paul Riley, Jared Garashik, sick, sick, yeah. Um, Mike Napoli, Justin <laughs> Miller. Did you just call a guy shit? You haven't know. seen him play. <laughs> Maybe he's good. I'm sorry. Um, and then Tiernan Reed and Goal. Oh, Tiernan. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love when y'all throw these new names at me and I don't know how to pronounce them. Uh, well, I pronounce his name, don't call him shit. That's kind of rude. Especially if he's out of town. We Go do not Rashik. treat our... Go when Rashik. you come to Quad Cities, we will treat you with the utmost respect. F from our employees, to our fans, to fill a team. We, I feel like we really are very welcoming Iowa to nice. out of town. We're welcoming to out of town teams. I really very, noticed that. Very, and that's why they keep coming back. Yes. Because we like to meet new people. They go to Portello's. So they don't have that in Chicago. <laughs> uh, let's see. Factory of Fear. Oh, okay. Oh! S speaking of which, December 8th and 9th, get your ass down to Factory of Fear. Oh, are they having a Christmas one? Frightmare Before Christmas. Hell yes. Nice. Yes. Go get the living shit kicked out of you. Yeah. I think of the cheer team going <laughs> they absolutely should. That sounds like a great time. So I sat out when we took the cheerleaders because it just looks really scary. <laughs> December 8th and 9th, man, to get down there. I'd uh, get crazy, so get down there early. Has Perry ever let anybody down? Never. Never. Good guy. Okay, we've got Vic Almgrim. What's his team name? Oh, Factory of Fear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> Vic Almgren, Kyle Almgren, Dalton Hegabo, Brian Kozak, Michael Davis, and Taylor Payne in goal. Okay, so it's um, Waterloo fellows mixing with uh, the Almgrims. Yeah, I like that lineup. Yeah, okay. I've been watching Dalton play. He's solid defensively. He's got a great shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love seeing those guys come down for Waterloo. Oh, we got Gabe Barrera again. Yeah, well, he's Ch captaining it. Yeah, Chicago Snipers D3. Okay. Andres Hagen, mm -hmm. Raymond Hagen, Danny Spears-Ziri again, mm -hmm. Josh Swan, Brandon DeVivo, and Adam Bruno in goal. Okay, yeah, it's a good lineup. They'll be... Uh... Oh, that was the last one. Oh, that was the last one? No oh, shit. Okay. What do you think of that? D3 is pretty solid. That's just a bunch of teams there. There was a lot of teams. We're going to see yeah. a lot of young skill from Chicago come on down there. You keep on learning the game more and more. Of course, Glencoe fucked his by building out there. So now, you know, those kids are learning to play the 3 and 3 game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah. It's amazing competition. Yep. So before we get into D5, we got to do our Quad City Store Minute! <laughs> I know you've been at every game so far this season. Sure. <laughs> or watching on Flow Sports like me. I mainly just watch more to see who's in the crowd than the actual game. We know game. so many people in the crowd every time it's we so watch great. it. It's crazy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give me like an O, something like an old G the next time you're on the camera that I'll watch on Flow Sports. <laughs> <laughs> um. So there's 10 teams in the league. Guess where the storm's at so far? Ninth or 10th? 7th. Oh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Our Quasi Storm are fucking around this year. No, we're not. Six and five. That's a winning record. A winning yes. record. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what else you got there, McDermott? Attendance. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, second to last so far, tennis wise. Yeah. Average 29.77. That's sad. I remember when, like, Mallard's games used to be so packed. 
Oh, now, you got to keep an eye on some of these teams bump up their attendance and they inflate a little more than it probably is. Maybe we're actually keeping truthful count. Maybe we're doing the same thing and we're actually last. <sighs> Macon's last right now. That's hard really? telling. Yeah. Oh, that's 16. It, Nick or Don't yes. get people confused. Sorry. Um, what the hell was I going to say now? You threw me Attendance off Attendance and it got blown up. And then, yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, Dom's, or er, the Radar's big birthday bash come up December 9th. So maybe that'll inflate oh. attendance. Yeah, everybody want to come down and get... So you Give can go radar. celebrate Radar's birthday. Yeah. And then you can go to Factory of Fear. There you go. You got a night out. Party. You got a fucking night out right there. How can you go wrong? How can you go wrong? Coffee down beforehand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me playing the date nights. Would you prefer a Radar birthday with that person or would you prefer the old Mo Mallard birthday with that person that was Radar Mo birthday. okay just serious okay okay just, I mean, just asking I miss the Mallards but yeah but not the person that played Mo maybe okay just asking <laughs> all right um oh there's a guy we that basically I don't want to take credit for, but I'm going to. We made him into such a star. He's playing ice hockey now. Of course, you know, Pat and I started deck 10, 11 years ago. <laughs> oh. Have you heard Nick Levesque? Uh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. He's now playing for the Storm. Number 16. Don't get confused with 61. He was actually doing something. I think Moran or something. Um... Where would you guess Nick, stats-wise, in the league for total points on the year so far? Out of how many? Well, what is there, 10 teams? Yeah. And then what do you say? There's What do you say? There's like 18, 20 players to a team? I was guessing 20. Of course, you got to take out goal. So, what, 18 times 10? 10, 10? 80. All right. So, well, then you got your floaters, you know, the guys would go up and down. So, roughly like 200. Two, probably 250, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know he scored the other day. He did. He got third star. That scorekeeper said, yeah, yeah. I'm going to guess out of 250, he would be 175. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> Why you just Usually slap him in the face? <laughs> Usually when you pick something out like that, it's like bad. <laughs> okay, I'll go with like, like 97. 115th. Off. Three goals. Okay. Zero assists. Come on, share the puck. Holy fuck, what a ball hog. Yeah? Kind of like you. Holy sh <laughs> There's no one I'm passes kidding. more than I'm me. Kidding. You think I look to shoot? I'm There's no one kidding. saying, oh yeah, Mark's going to crank it from the fucking blue line. That shit ain't That's happening. That's volleyball that you're a ball hog. Yeah, I yeah. am a ball hog in volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, well, and then there's five players who so fucking pass the puck. Mm hmm. Yeah, share the love. Jesus Christ. Okay, but I found a stat where he's, he's excelling. Oh, fights. Guess where he is in the league in penalty minutes. Like 15th. That's damn close. 13th. <laughs> <laughs> right job, right behind his teammate Logan Nelson with 29 penalty minutes. Oh, my gosh. He's a gritty motherfucker out there. Did you go to play or did you go to fight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, now the leaders of making Sacha Roy, and I looked at his picture, and he looks like a badass. He has <laughs> battery. I mean, the name sounds kind of badass. Too. Yeah. Yeah. He has 75 penalty minutes. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> he could play for Pittsburgh and Deck Hager, that kind of penalty minutes. <laughs> He's from Macon? Yeah. I think they'd have more attendance for that. <laughs> I'd go to watch. When's this guy play Nick? In January. A little boom. Hell yeah. <laughs> and we're going, uh, by the way. Oh, we're actually going to the building there to watch him in person. Oh. They're coming here. Yeah, I know. Uh, so oh, we're going to actually go get off the couch and go to the actual okay. building? Yes. Okay. Yes. Not just on 
Interesting. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, we can sweet. do that. Maybe. Well, sweet. Yeah. Ooh. So. That's about all I got with our storm. Uh, they seem to be a little more frisky. Mm -hmm. I know they've had won a couple games with great goaltending. Birkins back because they got out shot pretty bad a couple games. But you think they won it more this year? I sure as hell hope so. Mm -hmm. They show a fucking pulse. I mean, last year was brutal, but this year they seem to be putting in with energy. You know, I'll kick aside with Nick. Every time I watch him, he brings the energy, mm -hmm. and I think he gets his teammates going when. It, just by doing the little things. So there's yeah. there's rules for people like that. Yep. So And he's one of the lucky ones. Like his family is always in the stands. Where a lot of those guys are from out of town, so they probably don't get that. Yeah. That makes Oh speaking of which. Yes. Oh if I could drop my pen, that don't matter. Mm -hmm. This picture that remember Samantha posted this picture? Oh yeah, that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, have you heard of her? Okay. Can you have to zoom in a little bit? Yeah, zoom in. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want it like that? That works. Now tell me, am I good? Am I good? Am I good? Am I good? I think I brought my camera back. All right, all right. Hello. A little bit closer. Hello. Okay, there you okay. go. Okay. Go, go. Ooh. There you go. The great family picture, right? Yeah. Who the fuck's the guy in the middle? That's the is long that, lost Is that a brother. random long lost brother? Yes. I remember that from when, I think, not Sam and Pat, but when Nick and Savannah got married, I think. I remember seeing pictures with him in it. I honestly thought it was just some guy they brought out of the stands or something. Like, hey, you want to be in the picture? That hair, though. <laughs> that hair is special. <laughs> and he's the one that does nothing with, like, nothing to do with hockey. That blows me away. You grew up in Canada. How do you have Crazy. To do? What a great picture, though, of the fam, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. So, man, yeah, congrats for living out your dream. I just like giving them jokes. Please don't <laughs> cut my pay this weekend. Okay. You are working. Someone's got to do it. All right. You ready to get into D5? Yes, sir. The big leagues? The big leagues. The big leagues. The big D5. Leagues. I don't even remember who won D3 last year before I went into it. My bit Springfield. We'll just pretend it was them. D5 last year was won by the Deck Generals. And uh, 12 teams this year. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you go into number two first? Save number one for last. Nah, you don't have to save for last, but okay. let's. Uh, this is like Hagen. DH1, of course, Hagen, you know, the equipment. You know, I'm big on the Hagen oh, equipment. Oh, that's John Hagen, okay. Yeah, I love their shit. Yeah. So, Hagen deck hockey. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that. So, they probably know a little thing about this game. Oh, yeah. We yeah. have Raymond Hagen, yeah. John Hagen, Bill Little Sr., yeah. Caleb Sullivan, Andres Hagen, and Greg Spatz and Goal. Andres, man, he was a player during the summer tournament, too. I remember watching him on the big screen. <laughs> so I was too lazy to go down there once I got limited. You know, <laughs> their family makes hockey gear. You know yeah, they're good yeah, at yeah, Andres. Yeah. Andres, he's got that skill where he's big and physical, but he can still deep. That's a rare to have that combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, Bill like Little's the, the dude. Guys. He's the man, so cool. Then we have Hagen Deck Hockey, too. Oh, they're bringing it. Also, John Hagen. Um, we have <sighs> the rocket. <laughs> he just got added the other day. How's that happen? Really? How do these teams do it again and again and again where they just pick up an all star right before the fucking tournament? He must advertise the heck out of himself. Does he? I No, I don't think he had to. But oh, I mean, I, uh, these teams do it again and again. Uh, uh, yeah, amazing. I Maybe. wish I could pick up all stars. Right before turning, and they do it again. So we got the rocket, and we got Bill Little, Declan Sullivan, Greg Swan, Danny Spaziri, Marty Spaziri, and then Bill Little is oh, the yeah, one who's in goal. Go. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be a very solid squad too. Yeah, I love a uh, uh, Swan can really play too. He's uh, skilled, got a good shot. Mm -hmm. They're all Chicago. Those Chicago teams are always right. 
if they don't win it, they're, they're, they let you know you, you they were there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn close. There's a lot of Chicago people. Yeah. yeah, Chicago, man. They're bringing a fucking bus. So, yeah, the Chicago Knights now. Okay, these are our homies that do their own podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was listening to it the last time. I was right through when they had Nick Levesque on because they talked about some returning. Because really? they were the official podcast of the QC Summer Tourney. Because obviously I'm hated down here. You are? Evidently. You would think maybe, hey, I could be the official podcast. But hey, who am I? Or, you know, Deck Talk. I mean, I always. Deck Talk, of course. Deck Talk. Where's our show called? On the traffic lights. Under the traffic lights. <laughs> <laughs> He's down here. <laughs> Mark and Courtney's fireside chat. <laughs> yeah. What a beautiful... This is what poor people do for fires. Places. We're not cool enough to have our own fire. No. Uh, okay. Maybe that $100 I might fucking win. <laughs> I get an upgrade on the screen. Oh, goodness. Uh, okay, so yeah. on the Chicago Nights, we have Martin Landowski. Okay. Stevie J. Janown. Mm-hmm. Sean Frick, Chris Stompanato, Pat Sauerland, and Dave Schimmel, yep. Schmiel and mm-hmm. Gold. Yeah, they're all very solid players. Here, I want to show you something, okay. too. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, your I know. <laughs> Martin Landowski went to a Blackhawks game recently, okay? Is that good enough? Mm, no? No, do this. Okay. Oh. There, okay. Okay. This is with his, I assume, wife. How am I doing? How am I doing better? This is brutal. It is. Um, good Not the there. picture. Me. <laughs> and then that way. Uh-huh. No, nope, other way. Uh-huh. Other way. To the right. Yes. More. Fuck. Down. Fuck. There you go. All right. Okay, that's with his wife, Amanda. Okay. okay. Looks very happy, doesn't he? No. <laughs> how am I doing here? This feels like an eye chart. Hey, damn right. That's with Danny Wirtz, the CEO of the Blackhawks. What? Yeah. How? Don't don't ask me. I, I, I can't even get into the Storm games. These guys are being <laughs> CEOs of Blackhawks. Oh, my God. Yeah. How cool is that? And he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's cool. Yep. That's very cool. Yeah. So it would be good to see those guys down there. They, sometimes they do well that I could do a collab. Would you like to do a collab with those folks or no? Sure. So let's <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? We can go into. Okay. Got the Yetis with the supervisor, Mr. Bowie himself. Hey, one hand against another. More than that. That's right. Okay. Well, I have learned to love the Yetis. Uh, like, did you hear that, Kaylee? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, okay. Was, this... it, was it Yeti's Day the one, Joe? Or... That was, when we were there, it was a lot more low-key than I expected. Well, we I know were there it got like wild. the first hour. Yeah. Steak tacos were phenomenal. Those were so good. <laughs> 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 I, I wish probably... we could have stayed longer, but you and Dylan had somewhere to go, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. And I probably won't be invited back to the organization, but I'll never forget the steak tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylee made that made that meat, didn't she? Didn't Kaylee do that? Uh, her dad, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, her dad's really nice. Okay, so on this team, we have Matt Bowie, mm-hmm. Peyton Bazzari, Phil Bittner, uh-huh. Michael Hogue, Mark McDermott, and Gavin Geist in goal. I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited. Yeah. Yeah. I was, you know how the winter tourney is? Like, I got some homies that were basically laying low, like, if I get asked to play them, I mm. play Whatever I don't, then whatever. And I kind of felt that same way. And mm. I really didn't get asked. And as soon as I got the ring for this, I said, yes, as fast as I could. Yeah. I was just damn well excited. How can you not be? You know, yeah, yeah. Biz- Peyton wins everything in sight. He kind of does. You're not wrong. And I'm excited to finally play with him again. You know, we mm-hmm. kind of played in the past as subs each yeah. other. Yeah. And 
Uh, nice. Yeah, Matt Tree was a big respect all year. I love playing with him. Phil Bittner, I finally get to play with him. You know, he had his rank change earlier in the year. I was supposed to play with him this year. And baby hater. Yeah, he's a baby <laughs> hater, but he's a good hockey player, so he gets away with it. Yeah, and then yeah. Hoagie, God, I can't, I can't think of a team I've ever been on with Hoag, which is crazy because he's on every team in the league. I don't think you have been. Yeah. Ever. Huh. So I'm excited for that. How can you not be excited? Hoagie is... His overall game is phenomenal. Gavin Geist, he's got a little Johnny in him. Great, great goalie. Mm -hmm. I mean Johnny, I mean Johnny Fordyce, mm -hmm. but he likes to talk to the crowd. I've seen him turn his back and talk to the people while game pucks and balls and player. Nice. Yeah. My excited to play Gavin. He won, him and a couple of those guys won in uh, summer turn as the Whales. Oh, yeah. Whales. 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 Yeah. So... Yeah, I'm so jacked to be on this team. I can't believe, can't believe at my age they asked me. So, and it's a perfect role for me to be a role player, play when they're tired, mm -hmm. to get my ass off of there and maybe do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we got the, the deck generals mm. that did not invite you back this year. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Oh my goodness, literally like everybody but you. <laughs> Joyce took your spot. No, Nate and Joyce did not take my spot. Nate, no, he's four plus it's ranked. It's the whole team and then Nate. Yeah, but he didn't take my spot. He was four plus. I did go after this. He's like, I'm a role player. He'll be like the main player. It was a very good choice then. It's funny because you know what? Yeah. Nathan hates cold weather and he said he'd never play in a winter tournament. And, and here like, he is. Boom. Yeah. Nathan something Joyce, what's his middle name? You yeah. don't know. Me I used, I'm sure I've heard it at some point. Anyways. Um, so anyways, with Deck Generals, we've got Dylan Heidel. <laughs> Not Dylan, I've just been on the job. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Cody Cunningham. Oh, uh, oh well, well, there's Dylan, there's Cody. When there's Cody, there's Dylan. Uh, they are best. And then sometimes Ricardo comes yeah. around. <laughs> and then we have Colton Nelson. And making yeah. the trip up from Missouri, Mark Hubert himself. Oh, only in room for enough. One Mark on the team, that's Millie. And we have Nathan Joyce, mm -hmm. very good choice, and Justin Leatherman, and I don't know who will well, be in goal. Oh, yeah, why are we counting six players? Either I'm Colton or Justin in goal. You know what? I'm, I could be wrong. I'm going to guess Colton might be in goal, but Colton's like a combo player like a Raising Canes. Like, you know what you're going to get is going to be good, whether you're a forward or a goalie. Right, yeah. Leatherman carried the team off the back last year in the championship game and essentially won it for us. Mm-hmm. He faced like he 35 awesome shots in a two-period game. Yeah. And Leatherman can play out, too. He's lanky. He's got mm -hmm. skills. So, I, yeah. I, It'll I, be interesting to see who. I mean, good for them. Yeah. And Cody played like every minute last year and played phenomenal. He did. Yeah. And then he got right down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Dylan, good to see Dylan actually back playing again. Because mm -hmm. he was just coach last year, wasn't he? He was just a yeah. coach. Yep. Just a coach. And now he's... Coach player. Yep. All right. Anarchy. Good luck to them, Deck Generals. I only hope the best for them. I really do. From the bottom of my heart. There's only two Corys. Are you even listening? Yeah. No. Anarchy. What? Anarchy? Yes. You say? All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm moving on. Okay. Nate Corey, TJ Brower, Mike Corey Jr., Michael McMeekin, Ryan Hademan, Adam Trone. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And Nate Corey and goal. It's a good. That's a fucking good team there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good to see T.J. Brower playing. He only comes around every now and then anymore. And Mikey and Trony got that s speed. And Heineman mm -hmm. Heineman doesn't score a bunch, but he plays solid ass defense. Yeah, I like that team there. Mm -hmm. those, those guys go after you there. And Quad City Blackhawks. Okay, that's our first opponent. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Nathan Whalen. Oh. Remember, they won the D4 championship in the fall. How is she playing? She's always injured. <clears throat> I don't know. Just go through the goddamn lineup. Brandon Charles. Brand, I'm a, I'm in love with that player. He's getting good. Okay. Brandon you don't Matthews. remember him? He was helping us out in D3 there at the end of the year. Solid ass player. Oh, it's yeah. Better, I think better. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Brandon Hathaway. Okay. Brooke Kammer. Okay. Get it, girl. Keanu yeah. Brandom, mm -hmm. 
and Joe Daringle. Uh, yeah, because I know I just figured it out they allow D3s to play D5, so that's wonderful. Wonderful news. Well, they got two D3s. Well, yeah, just go with it. Yeah, Nate Wheel will be playing out, I imagine. Yeah. Joe Dare, and they just put Braid in there because Braden's usually a goalie. He'll, he'll move up. Braden will not play okay, goalie in D5. If he does, I quit. <laughs> It's bad enough Joe Dare's <laughs> fucking playing goalie in D5, okay? Right? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I like the name uh, of this team. This or Nate Whelan. They could play like three fucking goaltenders right away across. Now you have to fucking move and win. <laughs> this show's gone off the rails. Mm. Obviously not scripted. Okay. <laughs> the t this team name is the Snow Eaters. Oh. Sorry about that stuff. I didn't know it was going to snow like that the other day. And then I just said, fuck it. And now, like, it's a tripping hazard out here. It so, is. Yeah, sorry. Solid ice, thanks. Probably um, like the rinks. Oh, I'm sure the rinks are in perfect condition. Anyways, on this team, we've got Texas Mud. Oh, he, well, he hasn't met a deck hockey game he doesn't like. Yeah. Ashton oh, Seidel. Okay, okay, homie. Joe Cruz. Uh, Kate Brown. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Isaiah Cruz and Landon Delaska. Okay. Well, you got the power couple there. And yeah. Who's the power couple? Uh, Landon and Kate, right? Aw. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. That's a good ass team there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They're called the Snow Eaters, huh? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Next, we've got the Dark Knights D5 with oh. Selena slash Troy Hansen. Oh, they have risen yet again. The Dark Knights are back. They went a hiatus, and now they're back. Mm -hmm. They have Mason Griffin, Tucker oh, Hansen, okay. Tanner Tucker. That's funny. Troy Hansen and Selena Hansen and Brandon Evans and Cole. Brandon's a stud. A goal on D5. He might be the... <laughs> Think about this. D5, you got Joe Derry, who looks like a goal. Brandon Evans. Yeah. These are the names that D5 are talking about in goal. Mason Griffin's a good young talent. Mm -hmm. Do you think Tucker play? I just saw you was like thrown up in the ER. I don't know. Is that what he was doing? I, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully he's good enough and well enough to play, man. I hate for him to miss out. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be there. Oh, yeah, fat fingers. Quarry beer slingers. Oh. They must like to drink at the quarry. Is that the one down by Whitey's and mm -hmm. all that down there? Yep. In between Domino's and Coffee Hound? I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. We've got Thomas Richardson. Oh, T. Rich. Oh, this is T. Rich's team. Okay. Ryan Peterson. Ooh. I assume the other one. Yeah. Not the devil one. Okay. Not the devil one. Tiernan Reed. Okay. James Biderbeck. Oh. Travis Poulin. And I'm assuming Justin Sanquist and Goal. Yeah. I was, well, yeah, I would assume. Yeah. 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 That's a good lineup there. Mm hmm. Ryan Peterson's been, he hit some bombs all day and he blocks shots. The back keeps getting better and better every time I watch him. He was on the Shine Bikers. Can't wait to see what they got for promotional schedule next year, but just let's slow my roll, Mark. Yeah, we're not there yet. All right, cool. One event at a time, my friend. Always oh, good to see Sanquist playing. Nightmare mm -hmm. on Deck Street okay. with Mr. Miles Bird. Okay. It's like Miles Finch from. Elf, because mm -hmm. Finch is a bird. Uh, so, anyway. Miles Bird. What a nugget. <laughs> Tanner Judish, Jesse Eschen, mm -hmm. Eskin, yeah. Brand, uh, Brett Jacobson, Vinny Garcia, and Ryan Gunter in goal. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Ryan. I like seeing that there's girls getting into the winter. Tournament. I do too. If I actually feel like there's less and less this year than there used to be, though. Maybe I'm really? wrong. Hmm. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ryan Gunner, hell yeah, all day and go, mm -hmm. oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. And Brett Jacobson, yeah, he's a great scorer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's good to go. I like Tanner. Uh, he's getting better and better. Yeah. Yeah. And we have JSG. Okay. Any idea what that stands for? No clue. I guess I, no clue. Hmm. No clue. Okay. Um, okay, we have Andon Wood. No. Tanner Fulton. Nolan Morrow. Morrow. Ran. Ran. <laughs> Ryan Burheit, 
Mm -hmm. Dan Muting and Mark Corey and Goal. Damn, Mark Corey and Goal, that's Jesus. How are we supposed to fucking score on any of these fucking teams? <laughs> and Dan <laughs> Muting playing out? Holy smokes. Yeah. Wow, that's a great lineup. And in Woods, that kid's going to be a stud. <laughs> he already is. Really? Yeah, yeah. Anarchy's got some great young talent. Yeah. 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 Old Jeremy Wood, yeah. He's shit. Yeah. Ooh, this old timer's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got a good team uh, with you, though. We do. I'm talking about like in general, his debt keeps continuing, but. Yeah. All this young talent. You're that... getting older, and lots and lots of newer kids are coming in who are going to kick your ass. Yeah, it's just not right. So, how about that? Are you excited for the weekend? Ish, yeah. Ish. All right. I always end up having more fun at that than I think I am, so. Yeah, okay. Well, we look forward to everybody coming down and drive safe for Yacht Town teams. And we'll see you down here December 1st through the 3rd. Thanks to BB Designs for uh, sponsorship and for all you folks tuning in. And we'll see you down there. Mm -hmm. Let's not try to burn any pants. This time, Troy Hansen. Yeah, stay away from the space heaters. Stay away from the space heaters, son. <laughs> and otherwise, stay safe under the traffic lights.